Hello, this is Manesh Patel from IchimukuTrade.com. Today is September 3, 2012. This is our weekly Ichimoku analysis for all the futures market from crude oil to natural gas to heating oil to commodity futures to lumber and so forth. Normal disclaimer, this is state, this is for education and use only. We're not soliciting you to buy or sell any particular instrument that we talk about at all. It's for a purely educational purpose. All the charts you're going to see are basically from Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade. Here are our contact details here at info at eiicapital.com. You can go to our ichimukutrade.com uh, where you can see our multiple time frame uh, buy and sell signals for all instruments out there and global instruments too. Uh, you could access any of our free videos there, workshops on Ichimuku, uh, and other various resources are also available there. Or you could contact us at any of our uh, global locations here with their phone numbers. Okay, normal procedures. Let's go through and let's look at the heat map. If you have not seen the heat map, basically this gives you an overview of all the signals out there with all the Ichimoku strategies. Um, and what we're looking at is daily and weekly since we're looking at long term. What we're looking for is the same color box in both the daily and weekly. Red basically signifies it's bearish. That means you're betting on it going down. Green basically signifies it's bullish. You're betting on it going up. And what you're looking for is a 2 and a 4 here in the daily time frame with a 2, 4, or 5 on the weekly. If you look down here, you really don't see that many. You see a 5 and 5. That means it's already trending. It's too late here. Uh, no, an opportunity at all, 5 and 5. Here's an opportunity here, oats. Uh, we ideally like this to be 4, but uh, this could be a good counter trend trade. We'll look at this one, uh, which is oats in just a minute. Uh, this is already started trending, which is with gasoline. Um, soybeans are already trending, as you guys know. Most of the commodities, as you know, uh, commodity futures are already trending. Nothing really going on. So oats is the only one that's there. And since it's a two, it's kind of like the first part of the trend that's starting to begin. So let's begin and start looking for all the futures right now. Remember, left-hand side is basically the weekly daily time frame. And the right-hand side is basically the weekly time frame. So let's just go through the full futures list now and just start from the top and work our way down. So always we start off with cocoa. You can see here from the daily time frame, cocoa is bullish trending as far as daily is concerned, but it's in the cloud, so it's basically consolidating. And if you look at this, it's bearish trending for a long time, then consolidating. Now it's doing a pullback. It's doing a major pullback right now. Um, resistance levels is getting close to it, basically right around here which would be around 2665 is its resistance level. Uh, if it could break that, then 2900 is going to be the next one, which is a major one. And at that point, uh, the sediment may change to be completely bullish on the weekly time frame too. Uh, so that's basically what the cocoa is going through. But it is bullish right now as far as the daily is concerned. Uh, crude oil, uh, it's kind of stuck right now. Uh, it's bullish, looks like it's bullish sediment here on the, the daily time frame. It has not yet started this trend at all. Uh, here on the weekly time frame, it's really doing nothing at all. It's kind of stuck at a major resistance level right now at 97.23 uh, level. So that's kind of where it's stuck at 97.27 right here. Uh, it's got to sit there and break that to go higher uh, to start a trend as far as the daily is concerned. And kind of if here, if you look at it, it's so just one big major consolidation pattern as far as the weekly is concerned. So really nothing going on there. Uh, cotton. Cotton, if you look here, sentiment's now bullish as far as the daily time frame is concerned. But if you look here on the weekly, this is still very, very strong bearish. So be very careful. It really hasn't undergone a major pullback at all. Major resistance level, this thing has to conquer is 80.25. Uh, so that's the resistance level there. Support level is going to be basically 7300, 73 moving forward. U.S. dollar here, this looks like it's starting to start a trend here as far as the bearish is concerned. It's at a major support level right now, which is at 81.17. It's really got to break that with vengeance to sit there and start a trend as far as the daily is concerned. And this will look like a pullback as far as the weekly is concerned. Uh, so right now, 8,100, sorry, 81 is basically major support level. Resistance level is going to be 82.28 moving forward. Uh, we'll come back to gold in a minute. Feeder cattle, really nothing going on right now. It's, look here, bearish trending here. It's pulled back. It's at a major resistance level right now, uh, which is basically 146.82. Uh, it's major support level on this one is going to be 141.91. Uh, so we've got to wait and see exactly what's going to happen here. Uh, but we are at a major resistance level right now for feeder cattle. Lean hogs. 
really bearish trending as far as the daily and weekly is concerned. Look at these big gaps here as far as the weekly is concerned from lean hogs. And you can see here, definitely one you don't want to carry overnight as far as futures are concerned. Copper, really doing nothing here. This is bullish sentiment as far as the daily is concerned. Momentum is very weak. And it's just consolidating here. Resistance is going to be basically 3.598. Support level on this guy is going to be 3.40003. Uh, heating oil. Bullish trending as far as the daily is concerned. Uh, here in the weekly, the sediment has changed. This basically, believe it or not, it's consolidating. You could see the ranges here right now. And you could kind of see it's getting close to a, it's actually at a top of a uh, the range right now. So it's at a resistance level right now, 3.2235. So be very careful in the bottom of that range is 2.69 as far as the weekly is concerned. But support on this one's going to be 3.0162. Coffee. We blogged about this one. This is still bearish trending as far as the weekly is concerned. Uh, here on the daily, the sentiment is bearish. However, this can reverse very, very soon, believe it or not, because momentum is getting weak bearish for this guy. So be very careful trying to go bearish on this. This thing has to sit there and break 160 again, which is just major support level to continue this bearish movement going down. If it breaks 170, then this bearish momentum is going to be pretty much gone. Lumber. Really nothing going as far as daily is concerned. We're sitting on a major support at 285 right now. Resistance is going to be 298 moving forward with lumber. Live cattle. Really nothing going on as far as daily and weekly is concerned. Uh, this can is momentum to the bullish side. It's bull sediment is bullish but hasn't started a trend. It's got to sit there and break a major resistance at 127.50 to start a trend to the bullish side. 121.31 is basically a support level. Uh, natural gas, this is one everyone's looking at. Uh, natural gas daily, there's nothing going on as concerned. Weekly, if you look here, this is basically a bearish trend here. It's gone for a major pullback. Support on this one, basically 2.59. Um, and the resistance on this one is going to be 2.94. This thing's between the support resistance. It's got to make a decision which way it wants to go. Uh, if anything, it's more leaning towards bearish, believe it or not. So be very careful in trying to go bullish. Uh, so just be patient, wait. Frozen concentrate orange juice, you can see here is bullish trending as far as the daily is concerned. And, well, sorry, this, this little line's distorting it. Really going nothing, it's just gapping up then gap down. And if you look here on the weekly, it's bearish, basically bearish trending still to the downside. Resistance on this is 147.03. Support on this guy is gonna be basically about uh, right around 110. Pladanium. Really nothing going on. Started a bullish trend here, uh, pulled back, so held the support at 610. Now it's trying to go back to its resistance level, which is way up here at 657 up here. So it's going to be interesting exactly to see what happens with this one. But as far as weekly is concerned, it's just consolidating in one big range. Platinum really uh, basically get, uh, moved up starting a trend but a trend here but they really got stopped straight out of resistance it's at a major resistance right now 1552 it's got to break that in order to start a trend upward support on this is basically going to be 1473 moving forward natural gas we've gone for that crude oil gasoline gasoline here as you could see here uh, bullish trending here is going for a major pullback right now. Resistance level is going to be 3.0197 on this one. And believe it or not, support is going to be at 3.9273. Um, so it's kind of in between two different worlds right now. So no telling what's going to happen on this guy right now. But it is, believe it or not, leaning more bearish than bullish. Sugar. Sugar here is basically bearish trending as far as the daily is concerned. And if you look here, we're trying to retest the low as far as the weekly is concerned. So support on this one's gonna be 1897 moving forward, and resistance on this guy is gonna be 2253. Silver, we're gonna come back to silver. It looks like a gold. Here, gold is bullish trending as far as the daily is concerned. The weekly uh, but since just now starting to change sediments, believe it or not, and it's at a major resistance level right now, 1700. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens on that guy right there. Uh, major support level is going to be 1642 moving forward. Minor support level is going to be 1673 for those guys who are in there. Silver. 
bullish trending as far as the daily is concerned here we basically if you notice it's not even above the cloud like the gold was so this is still lagging compared to gold however it's moving up a bigger percentage right now than gold um, however it's at if you look at this this is one nasty chart one big consolidation pattern right now going on so there's nothing really here at all right now uh, 30 year treasury notes uh, if you look here, the sediments just now change bullish as far as the daily is concerned. It really doesn't mean anything because they're kind of just getting very, very close to testing resistance at 152,05. Support on this basically is going to be around 148,19. Corn, bullish trending here. Trying to go for a major pullback now for the first time for the daily time frame. Looks like it may sit there and undergo that now. Uh, on this one, the support, there's a lot of little supports here on this way. Uh, the one right now we're looking at 746.88, which may change by next week. But we got to see that. That's the major support right now. Five-year treasury notes, same thing as the other one which was basically the 30-year treasury notes. Nothing really to talk about. Soybean meal oil here it's trying to start a bullish trend really hasn't succeeded because it's been running into all these resistances here you basically consolidate and would be one big consolidation range right now as far as soybean oil is concerned soybean meal is bullish trending as far as daily and weekly is concerned this has been a great great trade we've been blogging about this on hmikawebsite.com uh, so this has been a great trade that's continuing to move forward on both the daily and weekly moving forward uh, 10 year treasury notes, really nothing going on right now. It's at a major resistance level right now. Support's basically going to be at 131,192. Oats, this was one that we saw on the heat map. You can see here it's at the top of its range right now. If it could sit there and break its resistance level at 403, this can start a trend on both the daily and weekly moving forward. 382 is basically going to be its uh, minor support level moving forward. Soybean, me a few soybean. Ah, soybean futures, same being as soybean meal. It's basically bullish trend as far as daily and weekly is concerned. Notice meal and soybeans are moving together in tandem, so soybean oil is not. So if you've noticed that little discrepancy there. Two year treasury notes, sediments now basically bullish on both the daily and weekly. Uh, however, it's got a lot of resistances uh, right here, uh, so no telling exactly what this thing's going to do. And lastly, wheat futures. Really nothing going on as far as the daily is concerned. Here on the weekly, this is still bullish trending. That's very strong. Support level is going to be 851.75 on this one, and 950 is going to be it's basically its resistance level moving forward. That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to email us here or contact us in any of our global locations.